Too often, symptoms of cancer can go undetected or misdiagnosed. On this National Cancer Survivor Awareness Day, local survivors are rallying to promote awareness and spread resources so others don't feel alone in their struggle. McKellia White joining us now from UC Health. And Mech, you talked to a colon cancer survivor hoping to break the stigma when it comes to talking about these things. Kelly, yes, and Sarah Wartell says it can be difficult to open up about those symptoms, but she is glad she did it. In fact, it saved her life. These are all the people who, who rallied around you. Mm -hmm. Who held my, my heart up mm -hmm. during the process. Sarah Wartell is beaming just looking at pictures of people she holds dearest to her. This is my husband, Justin. All of them kept her smiling after her diagnosis in 2021 of stage three colon cancer. My symptoms of colon cancer ranged from nausea and vomiting, significant abdominal pain, the grosser symptoms like blood in the stool. As a longtime yoga instructor, she was quote unquote healthy and she was under 45 when screenings for colorectal cancer typically start. Doctors thought I had Giardia or food poisoning or stomach flu. After a grueling two and a half months of wanting answers, she found UC Health oncologist Dr. Davis. And eventually she had 19 inches of her colon removed and started chemo. Chemotherapy isn't what people typically think, like what they show in the movies. My hands and feet weren't working well. Um, I couldn't touch metal. I couldn't eat or drink cold things because it made me think I was swallowing razor blades. But she was victorious. Now she's on the other side, 10 months cancer free. It took a special lioness spirit to make it, that's for sure. And I'm grateful because not some, some people don't. Yeah. So I feel pretty lucky. And she's urging others to seek help if they feel they're being misdiagnosed. Trusting literally your gut intuition. Um, that's really important. If that gets one person to get screened, that's why I do this. And if you're watching this and you'd like to get screened yourself, just head on over to CBSDenver.com. We have resources for you there. In Denver, Michaelia White covering Colorado First.